you know what? After being a motoring journalist all these years, the one thing I've learnt is that if you've already decided which car you're going to buy, you'll probably get it, regardless of what I say. And that's fine. Buy the Toyota Yaris Cross, buy the Mazda CX-3, but you'll miss out on this, the Volkswagen T-Cross, and it's been updated. I'm going to show you what you get, what the space is like inside, and what it's like to drive. I even think it costs less than you think it does. Now, if you want to read the full review, go to carsguide.com.au or come with me now. The T-Cross is Volkswagen's smallest SUV at 4.1 metres long, and even though it's closely related to the little Polo hatchback, it looks more like a mini version of Volkswagen's bigger Tiguan. It might be tiny and quite affordable, but it has Volkswagen's premium looks and sharp styling. Look at those creases, it's like somebody's just ironed it. This update has brought new front and rear bumper designs and new styling to the LED running lights and tail lights. That's typically how car companies do exterior design updates and inside the styling changes are pretty minimal too. There's a new dashboard design and a new media screen but again the design and quality feels refined and, and pretty high quality which I can't say goes for many of its other rivals. Let's talk about what grades there are in the lineup and how much you'll pay. Now there are three grades in the T-Cross lineup. The prices are on your screen now. Volkswagen is also doing driveway pricing too. Now those prices are very similar to the Mazda CX-3 and the Toyota Yaris Cross, but I think in terms of what you get, the value is much better. Let's talk standard features. Coming standard on the life are LED headlights, black roof rails and power folding mirrors. There's a leather steering wheel, a digital driver display, which is new too. There's an eight inch media screen, wireless phone charging, aircon, digital radio, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Stepping up to the style grade, add 17 inch alloy wheels, matrix LED headlights, those are new, chrome look roof rails, LED grill lighting strip, proximity unlocking, dual zone climate control, sat nav, and a larger digital driver display, that's new as well. The style also gets the fancy cross LED tail lights that are on the R line above it. Okay, the R line is a new grade for the range and it sits at the very top of the lineup and it comes with the sporty R line exterior styling. There are 18 inch yellow wheels and dark tinted rear windows. Inside, there's the R line interior, drive modes, and a Beats sound system. Now, there are plenty of small SUVs on the market and there's plenty of small SUVs that are the same length as the T Cross, but not many which actually have the space and storage of a T Cross inside. Now, look at me, I'm 189 centimetres tall, I've got plenty of room up front here. Storage is also fantastic. You should see these door pockets, they are enormous. They're like lion's mouths, They're, they can put your head in there. Um, there's wireless charger up here on the style grade. Let me take you through to the back. Look how big these apertures are. This is a small, this is a tiny SUV and there's plenty of room. This is legroom in the back here. This seat is actually in my driving position. And yet, yeah, even at 189 centimeters tall, my knees still aren't touching and headroom is really good back here as well. Massive, massive, massive door pockets in the back here too. There's little storage space there. I don't know what form, put your hand. Um, and there are USB ports down there as well. Let me show you the boot. Oh, let me show you this. The back seat is on rails, so you can actually make the boot even bigger. Let me show you that. This is one of the biggest boots in this class. It is enormous. Love it. And under here, spare wheel. Actually, you can change the boot level floor. It goes down to another level in case you want a bit extra space. Do you know what? Let's go for a drive. Let's go. Now, that engine, it's, it's a one litre, three cylinder petrol engine, which sounds tiny and it, it is, it's absolutely tiny. In fact, you could probably lift it up. You could probably take it as carry on luggage in an aeroplane. Uh, probably not a good idea, but even though it is tiny, it's, it's quite powerful, it's quite grunty. Uh, that's because it's turbocharged. Uh, the transmission is a seven speed dual clutch automatic as well. It shifts really, really quickly. Now, in terms of fuel economy, uh, Volkswagen says that after a combination of open and urban roads, you should be using 5.6 litres per 100 kilometres. Now, we have been driving now for an hour and nine minutes. We started in peak hour traffic, in horrific, horrific peak hour traffic in Brisbane CBD. Um, and our fuel economy, according to the trip computer, is saying 8.4 litres per 100, uh, which is a little bit more than, uh, than the 5.6, but uh, peak hour traffic and 
now we've hit country roads and I'm sitting here in roadworks. So look, we won't really be able to fuel test this until we get it in the secret cars guide garage. Uh, and we'll give it a proper fuel test. We'll get, let you know exactly how close we can get to 5.6 liters per hundred. But I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it would be able to get there. It's, it's quite a light car uh, and yeah, a very fuel efficient engine. Oh my goodness, Roadworks, in, on perfect roads like this. In a second, we're gonna be able to drive and I'm gonna be able to tell you what it is like uh, to pilot. Um, so far through the city, uh, I found it, um, the steering is really, really light. The, the engine can be a little bit laggy. Uh, that's, a, that's a turbo lag, um, very similar in a lot of these one liter three cylinder uh, petrol engines. You can put the transmission into a sport mode and that just makes the, the shifts a little bit more responsive, keeps you in the, in the rev range. All right, we are going now. So, what can I tell you? I can tell you that compared to its rivals, the T-Cross, is more fun to drive, it feels more stable, and it feels sportier as well. And I like these paddle shifters, so I can shift down to get the most out of that little engine, which sounds hilarious. Well, not hilarious, not funny, I'm not making fun of it, uh, but it does sound really grunty. And that's a three-cylinder trait, listen to this. Listen to it. Three cylinders have, a, um, have this really sort of throaty little sound. And wow, the handling in this little car, which is not really a sports car by any means, is exceptional. And I've driven all of its rivals. And I've got to say that this should not be this fun. Now, in terms of the ride, it's really comfortable. So not only does it have really good handling for a car of this price and this class it's actually really comfortable as well really impressed accurate steering great pedal feel feels very stable as well what this is what the t-cross is is really a polo volkswagen polo the little hatchback but it's raised higher and the benefit of that is that you get small dimensions and a great platform, but you get better visibility. Oh, here we go, this is a hill, this will test it. Go. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, it's so good, so good. And brakes are good, nice. And now that I've got it in that sport setting for the transmission, I'm not getting any of the turbo lag, turbo lag that I was talking about when you're sitting in city traffic and you just sort of, the lights go green and you put your foot down and it takes a little bit of a while for the, for the grunt to arrive. That's nice. You can hear my bag shifting around in the boot. Very good. Front wheel drive. You can't get any all wheel drive T-crosses, but that's all right. I mean, you're not gonna be taking this off road. Um, and like, you know, on purpose. Listen to that. So we are going up quite a steep hill now and I'm, I'm not wanting any more power. I mean, God, you can always do with more power, but this does not feel underpowered by any means. Oh, this is a hairpin. Here we go. This will be good. No loss of traction, no tripping of the tires. If you do ever find yourself on a road like this, it's good to know that you can have this much fun with it. But all in all, spending time in the city, you're gonna like this as well. The steering is light, the visibility is good. As I said, it's a polo, but it's raised a bit higher. And it's very safe as well. Let's actually, let's talk about safety. Now, the T-Cross was given the maximum five star ANCAP rating in 2019 and it is completely kitted out with advanced safety equipment. In fact, it's got all the safety equipment, if not more than its competitors. It's got AEB, it's got lane keeping assistance, it's got rear cross traffic alert and it has maneuver braking as well. And what maneuver braking is, 
is designed for really low speed, like you're, you're, you're trying to get into a car space and you might not be really focused on who's around you or what's around you, you're just trying to, you know, someone's, someone wants you to quickly get into a car space. What it does, it provides braking to stop you from bumping into things like pylons and bollards and walls and, and, and that type of thing. And that works forwards and backwards, which is, which is great. Also, there's front and rear parking sensors as well across the range, which is exceptional. That's, that's, I love parking sensors. In fact, I like parking sensors more than a rear view camera and it's got a rear view camera as well. Now, when it comes to ownership costs, you've got Volkswagen's five year unlimited kilometer warranty, which is great. And when it comes to servicing, it's recommended that you service it every 12 months or every 15,000 kilometers. Uh, there are service plans. You can get a three year and a five year. A five year plan costs $2,850 at last check. So yeah, about three grand. Um, or you can pay as you go. Now, I'd, I'd pay the $3,000 dollars. Uh, it's a lot cheaper than, than paying as you go. There are a gazillion different little SUVs, but most of them aren't this practical. Most of them don't drive this well. The safety standard that's across the range is truly great. And the price, the price is very, very good. 